I'm in Disneyland, Magic Mountains, and Universal Studios, you know. I'm doing day tour across Ireland, waking from bed and breakfast to bed and breakfast, 10 miles a day. I read my poetry at night in the local pubs, put a few smiles on people's faces. I'm in Australia at Noosa Beach, 20th floor of a high rise, a balcony with a view of the ocean, a balcony and air conditioning with pure blue and green ocean. It's all I can see. Or I'm in the south of France, or maybe Italy in Tuscany, watching the grow of the grapes I see, as far as I can see. But that's just not my reality. So I'll speak to you about what I know. And here we go. Here we go now. Here we go now. Here we go now. Here we go, go, go. Here we go now. And I'm so far gone, the loves of my life, extradited with a surgical knife, used to dream every day what I could do with my body. Now I gotta say, hey, I don't give a shit. You know, it used to put me in fits, but I don't even give a shit. More than half crippled, tripled the painkillers. I'm thankful I can walk, but I twist my ankle every time. I twist it walking over the incongruencies of a dime. What a time. What a time. It's like that guy in surgery who accidentally had his genitals removed. Can you imagine waking up, reaching down for a scratch and discovering that? The upside to chronic pain. Is there an upside to chronic pain? I don't know. I don't know, but maybe this will help explain. It makes you realize the same. Halfway around the world, halfway around the block, when pain and disease come knocking, you will receive the universal dilemma of the suffering prison. You've been put in, and once committed, the one commonality long enough for all morality, all mortality, is sorrow and pain. If you've lived with some life still remaining, you will feel the only guaranteed emotion that will be revealed sorrow and pain. What is the upside to the reality of this insanity? If you're a socialite in Beverly Hills when you take your spill, or you're a world-class runner in the hills of Kenya, when you go down and rupture appendix, if you're a rock god like Jimi Hendrix, you gotta anesthetize with massive quantities, drug dependence. If you're a saintly old lady in Iowa, twisted, arthritic fingers that are just too much, just too much for you even to do the common touch. Your husband just passed away recently. Your family doesn't even have the decency to visit you with any frequency. Or maybe you don't have enough to eat. One thing in common, the circle's complete. Pain and sorrow, death and taxes. It's the fact that you have lived any appreciable length of time, you will receive the riddle of all ages and the rhyme. Why me? Why me? Why not me? Mine started when I was 19 when I blew out my knee. I wasn't even trying anything risky or dangerous or extravagant. I was running around a track and that was that. The beginning down a path I couldn't possibly conceive. So you're out there in full body misery, watching and waiting for the spirit's healing. Is it a possibility? The blind man sees, the leper's mangled extremity set free, the tumor shrinks in your carotid artery, the cancer material. Watching and waiting for the spirit's healing, it's a possibility. The blind man sees, the leper's mangled extremity set free, the tumor shrinks in your carotid artery. The cancer metastasizes through your entire body, even your brain, and like Lance Armstrong, a healing, a total healing. Is that fucking insane? 
He lost his wife through foolish behavior, thought the grass was greener and the rock and roll or a passion. The one thing that really matters as you grief, the one thing that really matters as you're grieving, splattering, is the possibility of a consummate healing. I'm standing here revealing that I think I can grieve and pour emotions out, but one day, but one day, can it turn to screams and shouts? If the word goes out, Sean got his healing. Damn, man, what a feeling. And I promise you my song will change. Every fiber of hope consummated in this dream. And I will blog from the south of France, Australian beaches and Disneyland. I will rejoice for a lengthy season, never forgetting the reason. I'm smiling, I'm smiling, and it'll be hard to wrap my hand around it, but fuck me, holy shit, can you imagine it? Just the possibility puts a smile on my face for others to see, I'll never give up. I will pray for grace to endure, and I will pray for a healing unsure but pure. Fight the good fight. Fight the good fight, and maybe I'll get it right, and you'll be the first to know. So go baby, go baby, go baby, hello, go baby, go.